Hello everyone and welcome to the second video on acidic and basic solutions. In this video, I will give you an example of a word problem that uses the main formula that we derived in the previous video. Here's the main, uh, here's the uh, word problem. A solution has an H plus ion concentration of 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 moles per liter. Calculate the concentration of OH minus ions in that solution. And of course, the formula that we're going to use is the concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus is equal to 10 to the power of negative 14. As I mentioned, we derived this formula in the previous video. Now, the word problem that I've given here is pretty much the only kind of word problem that you should expect for this kind of a uh, formula. Uh, it could be that they give you the concentration of OH- and they ask for the concentration of H+, but it will be the same kind of a problem. Uh, if you're looking for the concentration of H+, you divide the right side by the concentration of OH-. If you're looking for the concentration of OH- ions, then you divide the right side by the concentration of H plus ions. Now, before we get into solving this problem, it's always a good idea to uh, know what range of values are acceptable as a solution. So that uh, if you find, if you compute a value that's way off, then you would know, you would know that something is not right. And now, as far as the range of values for the concentration of H plus and the concentration of OH minus ions uh, is concerned, uh, these values typically range uh, from some number, some decimal, in times 10 to the power of negative 14. Uh, now, negative 14 may be a bit too high to use, uh, negative 13, uh, to uh, some number times 10 to the power of negative 1. As an example of that, uh, we're talking about a number that's uh, this small. If your S is 2.4, then multiplying by 10 to the power of negative 14 gives you this value, which is uh, extremely small. Uh, all the way up to uh, this one, uh, if your S happens to be 3.85, multiplying it by 10, uh, 10 to the power of negative 1 will give you 0 0.385. Uh, so there is a huge range, and you should expect an exponent that's somewhere between negative 14 and negative 1. In addition to that, it's also a good idea uh, to know that uh, when your exponent, in scientific notation, when your exponent increases by 1, uh, your, uh, the value becomes 10 times larger. Here, we have 6 times 10 to the power of negative 2, which, as I mentioned in an earlier video on scientific notation, uh, a negative exponent of 10 implies repeated division by 10. So here we have 6 divided by 10 and then divide by 10 again. Uh, in this notation, 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3, we are dividing by 10 3 times. And that's why 6 times 10 to the power of negative 2 is 10 times larger than 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Negative 2 is 1 unit larger than negative 3. That means that we will be dividing by 1 fewer 10 with 6, 6 times 10 to the power of negative 2 compared to 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3. You can even convert them to decimals to see. Uh, so for 6 times 10 to the power of negative 2, uh, as a decimal number, that becomes 0 0.06. And for 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3, it becomes 0 0.006. And you can see that uh, not only is 0 0.06 larger than 0 0.006, it's actually 10 times larger. Okay, so with that kind of a thing in the back of your, uh, your mind, uh, let's now go ahead and solve this problem. Uh, we start by rearranging the formula for the unknown. So in this case, we are looking for the concentration of OH minus ions. Because the concentration of H plus ions is being multiplied by on the left, we divide by it on the right side. Now we rep replace uh, the concentration of H plus with its known value, which is 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Now the question is, how do you compute this value on the calculator? Now, before I tell you about that, uh, let's uh, talk about some of the basic buttons on the calculator. Number one, how do we enter a negative number into the calculator? Uh, number two, how do we use the exponent button? And three, how do we use the scientific notation button? Okay, 
So as far as uh, working with the sign uh, goes, uh, there is a toggle button on the calculator, uh, which appears either as a plus slash minus, or sometimes you see a, a negative sign within uh, round brackets. These are probably the two common ways. Uh, I'm not saying there are no other ways of showing them. Uh, it seems like calculators uh, use many different notations these days. Uh, but these are the two most common ways of representing a toggle key that changes the sign. As an example of how this, uh, how this toggle key works, uh, let's take a look at this calculator. If I want to enter negative 7, then I can enter 7 and then make it negative. Now if I hit the button again, then negative 7 turns into positive 7. And I can hit the button again to make it negative 7. So that's why it's called a toggle key. Uh, it switches between positive and negative values. On some calculators, you might have to hit the sign before you enter the number. So find out which way your calculator works. The better ones uh, are these ones, the ones where you have to enter the number and then change the sign. Uh, for reasons that I will discuss in a separate video on the use of calculators, because the topic can take time. But if you have the other kind of calculator, there is no reason for now to go and get a new one. Uh, but if you have a choice uh, between buying this kind uh, and, uh, and the other kind where you enter the negative sign first, uh, this one is a better one. Okay, so that's one of the keys that you should know about. So as an example, try to enter negative 14. On my calculator, I enter 14 and then I make it negative. All right, uh, the next button that we should know about is the exponent button, which appears as either x to the power of y or y to the power of x, or sometimes you see this kind of hat notation. On my calculator, it appears as x to the power of y. Now to show you how you use this button, let's try to compute 2 to the power of 3, which should equal to 8. On my calculator, I enter 2, then to the power of 3. And now if I say equals, I should see 8. Try this on your calculator. And the third button you should know about is the scientific notation button. And this button appears as either a capital E or EXP or sometimes A times 10 to the power of X. And as an example of how you can use this, uh, this, uh, this scientific notation button, uh, let's try to enter 3 times 10 to the power of negative 2 which should turn into 0 0.02. My apologies, 0 0.03. 3 times 10 to the power of negative 2. So we expect to get 0 0.03. Uh, and now the manner in which you can enter this into your calculator is to enter the significant, which is 3. And then you hit times x times 10 to the power of y. So this is similar to a times 10 to the power of x. And you notice that in the display it says e0. e stands for times 10. And the number that comes after that will be the exponent negative 2. So let me try one more time. 3 times 10 to the power of, and now I enter 2 and make it negative, 2, negative. Now if I say equals, I should see 0 0.03. Okay, you try this.
Okay, now that we know about the three uh, buttons that we need to know about, uh, we can go back to the problem and uh, evaluate the right side of this uh, equation. And here, you can either use the exponent button or the scientific notation button. Keep in mind that the exponent button is a general button that works with any exponent. The scientific notation button only works with integers as exponents, which is what we have here. If you can use the scientific notation button, usually it makes it easier to work with and to work out uh, an equation or to evaluate a, uh, an expression like this. Now using the exponent button, uh, to evaluate this expression at the top, uh, we have to enter 10 to the power of negative 14 divide by, and you have to place the divisor in brackets, because if you don't, then what you end up getting is divide by only 4.2, and then take the answer and multiply by 10 to the power of negative 6. Uh, this is a main source of making mistakes when, people, when students uh, do these kinds of computations. Using the exponent button, again, you have to put your divisor inside brackets. Uh, again, if you don't do that, you'll end up, rather than dividing by the product, by all of this, you'll end up dividing only by 4.2, and then the answer will be multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6. Another option uh, would be to write down, to type in uh, 10 to the power of negative 14, and then divide by each factor in the denominator. So you divide by 4.2, and then again you divide by 10 to the power of negative 6. Uh, this is an equivalence uh, that I've talked about in an earlier video, and so here I won't, uh, I won't spend time to talk about it, uh, just to tell you the main result, that if you're dividing by a product, you can divide by each factor. If you're using the scientific notation button, then it's much easier because you can just type 10 to the power of negative 14 divide by 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 and uh, and you don't have to put 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 which is the divisor inside brackets because you're using the scientific notation button the calculator knows that 4.2 times 10 to the power of 6 is stuck together that it should see it as one thing and so the calculator will divide not just by 4.2, but by all of 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay, following either approach, we'll end up with the value 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Let's see how we can work it out. Okay, so we have 10 to the power of negative 14, and for this part, I can use the exponent button. All right, uh, so we put on 10 <clears throat> to the power of, and then 14, make it negative. And then we divide this by 4.2. And now I will use the scientific notation button, times 10 to the power of, six and make it negative. Now you say equals. And we get 2.38, which can be rounded to 2.4, times 10 to the power of, that's the E notation, so please don't write E in your solution. Uh, e on the calculator no, uh, sort of signifies times 10 to the power of. So we have 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 9. So that's how you can use the scientific notation button. If I use the exponent button, I can enter 10 to the power of 14 negative, and then divide by. Now I open bracket, and I type in 4.2 times 10 to the power of 6 and make it negative, close bracket. Now we say equals, and we are back to 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Now notice that if I don't use brackets, I will not get the correct answer. If I type in 10 to the power of 14 negative, 
and then divide by, now I won't use brackets, 4.2 and then times 10 to the power of 6 and make it negative. Now if I say equals, I get 2.4, so that part, of, that, that part of it seems to be okay, but then it's times 10 to the power of negative 21. This is not even close uh, by any standard to times 10 to the power of negative 9. Much, much smaller over here. And you can see uh, how not using brackets will give you an incorrect answer. Now to show you the third approach, which is the alternative over here, uh, let's enter 10 to the power of 14, make it negative, and then divide by 4.2. and then divide by, again, 10 to the power of 6 and make it negative, and then equals. And you notice that we get the correct answer now. Uh, one final comment is uh, you can also use the scientific notation to enter 10 to the power of negative 14 because the exponent is an integer. If you want to do that, then you have to have something times 10 to the power of negative 14, and that would be a 1. So you can enter this as 1 times 10 to the power of 14 negative, then divide by 4.2 times 10 to the power of 6 and make it negative and we end up with the correct value okay everyone thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video i will tell you about uh, the other equations that go with acidic and basic solutions these are equations that involve ph and poh take care everyone and see you soon